Welcome back to Concepts in Arithmetic. I would like to talk about some word problems with fractions. So we are looking to do a teacher's solution for these. And you'll remember that means we're looking for a bar diagram that kind of encapsulates what is going on. We're looking for a computation and we're looking for a sentence giving the answer to the word problem. Okay, so uh, in this first example, let's check out this problem. Four-fifths of the children in a choir are girls. If there are eight boys, how many children are there altogether? Okay, so I'm going to do a bar diagram here. Doot. Okay, so here's gonna here's my bar diagram. Now I'm going to carve this bar diagram up into one, two, three, four, five equal pieces. Now the reason I'm doing that is because my fraction here is four fifths. Okay, so the denominator of the fraction I'm dealing with tells me how many pieces my bar diagram should have. Okay, so. Four-fifths of the choir are girls. Okay, so I'm shading four of the five pieces to represent four-fifths of the choir. And the rest are boys. Now, they tell me there are eight boys. So one unit in my bar diagram equals eight kids. So five units equals 5 times 8. It's 40 kids. Okay, so our sentence is there are 40 children all together. Okay, now one thing I would note is in class we had discussed something called the standard unit like three quarters of a gallon of water a gallon is the standard unit here the standard unit is the children okay four-fifths of the children are girls. Okay, so that's our standard unit here. Okay, so let's look at another one. This is a two-step problem, as we will see in just a second. So Tracy bought 120 eggs. She used two-thirds of them for baking cakes. She used one quarter of the remainder for cookies. How many eggs does she have left? Okay. So, one sec. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Figured I'd do that off camera. All right. So, what I'm going to do is make my bar diagram. And I'm going to cut this bar diagram into three equal pieces. Okay, now, I know that this entire length is 120. Okay, now, she used two-thirds of them for baking the cakes. So, these are gone. They went to cakes. Okay, now I can do some calculations over here, right? Three units in the bar diagram equals 120 eggs. So one unit would be 40 eggs. All right, so she had 120 eggs. She used two-thirds of them, which leaves her with 40 eggs left. Now, 
she uses one quarter of the remainder for baking cookies. So I just figured out that this represents 40 eggs. Now, of that, she used one quarter for baking cookies. So I should subdivide this into one, two, three, four equal pieces. Okay, so in this second division here, I have four units equaling 40 eggs. Now she uses another one quarter of the remaining eggs. So that leaves us with three quarters left. So I need to know how much three units is. And that's easy enough. That's uh, 30 eggs. So our computations are right there. And then we can have our sentence here. Tracy has 30 eggs left. Okay, so we got our bar diagram, we have our computation, we have our sentence, so that it is a complete teacher's solution to these word problems involving fractions. So the key idea is using the denominator of your fraction to tell you how many pieces that you should break your bar diagram into, and then realizing what your standard unit is. Here it's obviously eggs, right? two-thirds of the eggs. That's what we're talking about there. Okay, so keep that in mind.